think we're good. Yeah. Uh, can you hear me all right? What? Can you hear me all right? Messing with you. Yes. All right. Yes. So I just had a couple uh, questions for my project. Um, we're doing, so I'm in sociology and we watched the behind the curve and that just really intrigued me and all that. And so I yep. just wanted to like, reach out to you. So um, just a couple questions I put together with my group. Yeah. One of them was, what do you say to critics who claim that flat earth theories ignore the basic, basic physical laws like gravity? So what would you say to that? Screw them. No. Um, no. And by the way, what high school is this for? Elk Grove High School. Elk Grove High School. Why does that sound so familiar? It's in it's in Illinois. Not yeah, the no, one no. I've done I've done a bunch of high schools. I'm wondering if I've done Elk Grove before. Wait, what's the? You don't have to say the teachers. You know, go ahead and say the teacher's name. What's the teacher's name? His name's Mr. Milligan. I wonder if it's the same guy. <laughs> I should look it up because there, there's certain teachers that once they did group where again, if he showed it to the class, if it's on the syllabus they they've they've done it re multiple years okay so, yeah. but intriguing again love the fact that here we are years later and yeah. it's required viewing yeah i know i uh we were taught he like brought it up about yeah. like the flat earth theory yeah. and i was like wait like this is like actually a thing because i've the never thing. heard about it yeah. and he said that there was like a documentary so he played it for the entire class. And that's when like, I was like, okay, let me see if I can reach out to you. And yeah. I mean, you did respond. So right. I, I will answer your question. Um, Just to, yeah, you probably didn't hear about it because when we really took off was nine years ago okay. when you were young, yeah. younger, I should say, you're already pretty young. Yeah. And are you, are you a senior? Yes. Okay. Perfect. The, um, uh, we, we, YouTube, we were all over it and, and mainstream, we we're doing all sorts of stuff and, uh, we we're doing conferences and stuff like that, but it only slowed down after the whole pandemic thing happened because oh, okay. we weren't allowed to do meetups. Mm -hmm. Most of the conference centers were closed around the United States and we couldn't even travel internationally. Mm. So anyway, okay. So back to your question. All mm. right. What do I say to people, uh, the scientists that say that what about gravity? Yeah. Uh, that, is, that is a wonderful question. Uh, thank you for asking because I get that from time to time. Mm -hmm. uh, gravity, you can ask any scientist, you know, go to any science uh, uh, major or science professor. I don't know if, if you're taking science in your senior year, mm -hmm. but uh, ask them what gravity is. Gravity is a theory. They it, it, straight up theory. They okay. don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. They can only tell you what it does. They can only tell you the symptoms of gravity. So like, you know, if I grab this phone, right, and I drop it, well, yeah, mm -hmm. it's obviously falling down. Is that because of gravity mm -hmm. or is it because of uh, uh, density in the air and combination of that and electrostatics? Mm -hmm. They don't know because they can't reproduce it in a lab. So, in fact, Neil Tyson, you know, there's three media scientists out there, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson uh, from the United States, Brian Cox from the UK, and Michio Kaku from Japan. Mm -hmm. The only guys that, and I'm not counting Bill Nye because he's not a scientist. Yeah. He might as well be a, um, a cast member from Sesame Street that, <laughs> for whatever reason, again, I get it. He was syndicated on the Disney Channel for six years doing the whole Bill Nye the Science Guy thing. But yeah. it's like, why, why is he on a panel about quantum physics why is he on a panel about the mars rover why is he doing all this stuff yeah. so short version about gravity is you can't tell me what gravity is mm -hmm. so we can't either so it's a, it's kind of a push so from your side it is gravity is this mysterious magnetic force that pulls everything down to the center of a ball mm -hmm. and we say that well gravity is some mysterious molecular force that pulls things down yeah. to the to a flat disk Mm -hmm. uh, the only difference there would be uh, it, uh, it's a flat disk that isn't sitting in space. And then, you know, you have to build on your side the whole space thing around it. So, there you go. Yeah. Sorry. No, you're good. Long, so, long winded answers. I, I do a few yeah. of those. OK, so like from your perspective, I know like watching the documentary, like you said that the Earth, so the Earth is flat. Like, could you describe what the Earth would look like from your perspective? Yeah, I got a model right over here. Hang on. Looks like this. Okay, so there's a dome over it. Yeah, so it'd be like if you took a dinner plate and uh, uh, put a dome over the top of it or a cake plate. I, I know it's probably dating me because you guys don't even use cake plates anymore. No. But uh, where the North Pole's at the center mm -hmm. and Antarctica. The, and, and the continents basically look the same as mm -hmm. they would on the, on the globe map with the exception of Antarctica. 
Antarctica okay. is absolutely wrong. Antarctica isn't this continent about the size of Australia, maybe a little bigger, uh, that's that's covered in snow. It's mm -hmm. basically this massive landmass that stretches around the entire outer edge that keeps the water in. Okay. And and it's self-contained, meaning there's no this is it. There is no space. And you probably say, well, what's outside of it? It's like, I have no idea what's outside of it. I can take some some guesses, but mm -hmm. uh, but as far as space goes, no, space is a, is a made-up construct. Anyway, go ahead. And then, so for like the solar system, is Earth the only flat planet or are there other flat planets? There, what, why, what makes you think there's planets at all? I mean, you know, as far it, as far if you go to a planetarium, interesting the name. Uh, I know that. I, in fact, do you even have a planet planetarium near you at all? Not Never that I know. Do you even know what one is? I mean, I know what one is, but I don't know if we have any around us. All right, planetarium is again just the um, you go in there and you sit on your back and or you sit in the in the seats and you look up they, they recline and the entire sky is turned into a star system with planets and everything so the question is when you go in there and it's like oh look there's jupiter yeah great mm -hmm. looks like a sphere can you land on it no why not well because it's just a light on a ceiling mm -hmm. and it's the same thing with the moon and everything else so when you walk out of the planetarium who's to say you're not just in a much much bigger planetarium that's true. The, so if everything is just lights in the sky, yeah, the planets don't have to be round or flat because there are no planets. It's just an it's just an illusion. It's just stagecraft uh, because we can't get there. And okay. if you are the powers that be in the government, and I know this is probably one of your follow up questions, which is well, what about NASA? What about the Apollo program? What about SpaceX and Elon Musk? Well, you can make up any story you want. Don't forget, yeah. uh, I'll, I'll give you an old story, which was uh, no one knows how the pyramids were built. Mm -hmm. However, the pharaohs say that they built them in 30 years. Well, how'd you build them? Nothing. Crickets. It's like there isn't a single hieroglyph on how they were built. Mm -hmm. The point there is if you're the pharaohs and you're walking through the desert and you find the pyramids, who's to stop you for taking credit for it? Nothing. Yeah, Absolutely sure. nothing. And again, most people couldn't read or write. So you just tell the story and within a generation, well, your worship is God kings because you built the, the pyramids, even though there is no evidence to suggest that that you built the pyramids. So That's very true. Hmm? Then you make a very good point. Well, again, we take uh, America loves to I'll, I'll give you a quick story. Mm -hmm. America loves that. And this predates you. America loves to take credit for things. People do. People take credit for stuff all the time if they can. If you can get away with it, you will take the praise and minimize any criticism. So after World War II, when the rest of the world was burning, right, mm -hmm. the only the only country that didn't really get hit was us, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody else, I mean, the, the whole Soviet Union was on fire. Britain was on fire. Japan was smoldering. Everybody was, everybody in Germany, let's not even talk about Germany. It was yeah. bad, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone was looking to us like we were the shining hero standing on the hill, bathed in sunlight. Mm -hmm. So it was our perfect chance to do something that no one had ever done. You remember, again, a little bit of history for you, which is the, the greatest empire in the world was the Roman Empire, right? Lasted mm -hmm. a thousand years and influenced us even today, right? Yeah. They were the greatest empire, but the greatest show on earth is us, the United yeah. States. And so who's to stop us from saying at that point in the night early in the mid 1960s, hey, you know what? We're going to go to the moon. Mm -hmm. The United States is going to go to the moon. Caesar didn't even do that. Yeah. And who's to say, who are you to say that we didn't go to the moon? Look, there's sure. pictures. Look, there's videos. It doesn't matter if it doesn't make sense. We went to the freaking moon, right? And they've aged horribly. The Apollo footage is just aged terribly. Mm -hmm. So who's to say that? And in fact, it was a, a little short video I made recently where I said, um, we went, the Americans never failed. Remember, we went six missions, not except for Apollo 13. Everybody lived, right? No problems whatsoever. And yet no other space organization even tried to go back to the moon, including us since 1972, which is a long time before you. Mm -hmm. What what happened? What, why? We should have, we should have, we should have hotels on the moon by now. Mm -hmm. No one's even, you know, and so when Elon... Elon says, oh, yeah, we're going to go to Mars. And it's like, what are you talking about? You haven't even you haven't sent a guy to moon. Look up if you get a chance. I, I know you're recording this. So yeah. look up something called De the Dear Moon Project. 
Mm-hmm. Right. Just look that up and and wonder what the hell happened there. Were they he was gonna Elon was gonna help pay for with his Japanese investor all these content creators, like a busload of content creators, mm-hmm. to fly around the moon. They weren't gonna land on the moon, but they were gonna fly around it, and they were gonna mm-hmm. do it in like 2018. It's 2024. What happened? That's they true. didn't even start it. So, but they told everybody. It made the news. All these content creators. They were so excited. You can imagine. Never happened. Sorry, I ramble. Go. No, you're good. Um, so do you think that the photos like that NASA has like produced, like those are fake or like AI generated? Well, like, a- uh- AI didn't exist when, when the NASA photos were, however, uh, if you know anything about photography, doctoring photos has been around since photography has been around. And I blame women for that. just so you know, okay. <laughs> because everyone wants to airbrush it. Everyone wants to touch up and, and do, and, and make pictures look better. So the techniques have gotten better and better. So by the time we did the 1960s, we couldn't do video, but we could do, well, we could do some video. It wasn't, wasn't great though. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we could do uh, front screen projection and, and crap like that, but the photos, we could do s- some really amazing stuff. However, mm-hmm. so yes, everything is fake. Everything okay. that NASA is fake. However, what happened was when Photoshop came out in the early nineties, mm-hmm. Photoshop really wrecked everything. Cause you know, if you go, if you've ever opened up Photoshop, you can raise and lower the levels on everything and you can, yeah. you can point out, which is why people can point out f- fakes with Photoshop. Mm-hmm. Well, why are we finding fakes through Photoshop of, of NASA images? That shouldn't be there, right? It's, that'd be like trying to say that there's fake news. Mm-hmm. No such thing as news would never lie. You know, we, yeah. we, we know there's fake stories out there that the corporations release and sports teams, release, you know, it's, it's all over this place. You know, people raise, do it normally for money. It shouldn't be there in the news, but we found it all over the place. When to, in fact, once we started analyzing the NASA footage, everything that was NASA, going all the way back to the beginning, it was horrible. It just mm-hmm. aged terribly. Yeah. Um, and then and then you had the physics stuff that didn't even make sense, for mm-hmm. example. Um, if you know anything about physics, you can look up on YouTube all day long. You put anything in a vacuum chamber, right? It'll expand and expand until it blows up. You know, va- volleyball, basketball, football, uh, you know, anything that's pressurized, you know, can of soda, detonates. You know, the only thing that's never been affected by, by a vacuum? Mm-hmm. Spa- space suit. Weird, right? Yeah. And I've asked, I've asked people for years. I said, what magical thing in the backpack of the spacesuit stops you guys from turning into a parade float and, and blowing up? They they got they got nothing. And I mean, literally, literally, there's nothing. And I go, and even if you could convince me in 2024 that you had the technology, what'd you have in 1969? I mean, mm-hmm. we 1969, we did not have good tech. Remember that was that predates most people didn't even have didn't even know what the word computer was. Yeah, nineteen sixty nine. So anyway, there we go. Oh, I'm sorry. One more thing. One more thing. Let me let me throw one more thing for you. Uh, okay. Do you any do you have any friends? I know you're in Illinois. Mm-hmm. Do you have any friends that ever have ever scuba dived? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. All right. You know what it is though, right? Yes. You go down there. You put the tanks on your back and you go down and and you swim around. Yeah. The only thing that scuba divers care about ever is their oxygen gauges. That's all they care about. They're they're maniacs about it. It's like they're constantly looking at that giant dial on their hand. It's like, how many minutes of air do I have left, right? Mm-hmm. And then, the, you know, when they get to like seven, six minutes, like, oh, we better surface, right? Mm-hmm. Astronauts never cared, never brought it up once, never brought up once how much air they had left. There is no such thing as an infinite air supply. They should have basically had scuba tanks in their backpack. Never talked about that's Hollywood. That is Hollywood stagecraft. That is just glossing over a pot, plot point with things that things in movies that we just kind of accept. It's like, ah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I know he's gun fired so many bullets, and, you know, but but whatever. We don't care, right? Let's just move on yeah. to the next scene. That's what that's what NASA did, and most of the people bought it. Wow. Next question. All right. So, like, what do you think the ultimate goal is for the government and the scientists? Like, if they are like hiding the true nature of the Earth and they're hiding from us that the flat Earth is like a real thing, like, what is what's the reasoning for them doing that? Control more more than anything. Power. Um, the, the old tricks are the best tricks. Men, and again, I'm going to put most of the the blame on men. Um, mm-hmm. Men rarely, if ever, give up power voluntarily. That's a quote from somebody, but it's very very true. Um, if the world is not a globe right Mm -hmm. then it was built you know it screams structure and even if you don't believe in god Mm -hmm. then you gotta believe in something 
Yeah. And, you know, either either it's either it's a divine power or it's an advanced civilization much bigger than ourselves. Right. But either way, they're bigger than us, which means they're bigger than the government. Okay. There, there's an old saying, which is you can't be the authority if you're not the authority. You know, if mm -hmm. you're not the highest level of power and people know it, people are going to look around you and see. It's like, well, yeah, I, I understand you're, you're the big you're the big cheese. Who are those guys, though? Because that's who we want to talk to. Yeah. And if you're the government, you also, you know, they're not going to trust you as much. It's like, okay, so you know that this world was built by something. Again, that, you know, this model just screams that it was built by somebody, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the, it, it was. it's mostly to keep uh, keep their power and keep control. And it, and it worked brilliantly, which is, it's the, the greatest way. And I, I made this in my clues. I know you probably didn't watch them there a long time ago. But... You can't the easiest way to hide the fence, right? So if you know the problem, the problem with this model is from a government standpoint, is eventually people are gonna be like, hey, wonder what the edge is like. And they're mm -hmm. just gonna that they'll try for it. They they'll they'll create their own expeditions and they'll try for it. You're never gonna be able to stop them. The only mm -hmm. way to stop them, it's very clever. You say there is no edge. Mm -hmm. There's no edge at all. It's just a ball. You can go around it all day long like an ant on an apple. You're never gonna find the edge because it doesn't exist. And for most people, it doesn't. And their hard work was done for them because Antarctica is really awful. It's a terrible place to go. It's just snow and ice and snow and ice. Mm -hmm. So if 99.99999% of the people don't even want to go to Antarctica, that mm -hmm. takes care of most of your problems right there. And then you say, well, there's nothing to see there anyway, right? It's one of those tourist destinations we do not promote at all. I mean, there's only, only people that get to go down there are the military and the military scientists. Mm -hmm. That's it. And by the way, so one one more thing I throw out there. I know we're going off track, which is look up, you know, look, do some searching into Antarctica. It's the only continent. It's the only real estate in the world that's not owned by anybody. Mm -hmm. He's talking about the, every square inch of real estate is owned by somebody, not yeah. Antarctica. Nope. And that is that is deliberate so that no one can get a foothold and nobody has any sort of influence. So nobody does their own expeditions and has their own power. Anyway, mm -hmm. go ahead. All right. So the next question, like, so if the earth is flat, uh, like how do you explain like different astronomical phenomena? So like the lunar eclipse, like, which is mostly explained by like how the earth would be like round and stuff like that. So how would you explain like the lunar eclipse? Uh, first, just so you know, uh, we, when we talk about it and I know you use the term round, mm -hmm. uh, and this isn't like a pronoun thing. Um, round is two dimensional, meaning, mm -hmm. uh, this, this ass, this, this so, ashtray. Like, it's spherical then spherical. spherical we yeah we use sphere and ball and globe uh mm -hmm. your dinner plate is round a hubcap is round your dining room table is probably round unless it's a rectangle but whatever yeah um so as far as things like the lunar and solar eclipses and meteors and and uh, asteroid stuff and all that crap up there it's just again it's just lights in the sky the sky is just a heavily ornament mental clock mm -hmm. that predates language that's all it is um, yeah. the, the planets sir, are, are just part of the system. I mean, it's very pretty and, and very inspirational and all that stuff uh, with a big giant nightlight called the moon. Yeah. Uh, but that's basically it. Uh, I did a, in fact, I did a, um, a number of videos on how you, you could look it up if you get a chance, how the eclipse shadow is so small, for mm -hmm. example. Uh, the moon is supposedly 2,000 miles wide, mm -hmm. but the eclipse shadow, the blackout zone, if you've ever been in an eclipse shadow, I've been uh, in at least one, it was in the movie, um, was only was only about 100 miles wide it was less than 100 miles wide well that's interesting because that's basically how big we say the moon is yeah. and if you know you can go outside all day long which is shadows are actual size or they're stretched longer they never mm -hmm. get smaller you will never walk by a wall on a sunny day and your your um your shadow is going to shrink down to the size of an action figure it's never going to happen and they can they can use all the physics they want to try to explain that about the moon but it's like yeah it's not going to go anywhere because people don't see it in real life our explanation is easier and so we generate a lot of traction because of it all right so i just have like two more questions um yeah. and this is mainly about like you growing online and stuff like that and all that stuff yeah so like, uh because the flat earth movement has grown a lot online yeah. um how do you like navigate disagreements or differing beliefs within the community itself like are there different like perspectives on what the earth looks like or stuff like that like what how do you navigate through those different beliefs well just blind luck actually uh because 
when it comes to the differences in the community, and yeah, we have a lot uh, of differences, like like anything, which is why you probably saw in the documentary, um, yeah. I mentioned uh, the older Monty Python movie, you know, how religions formed and how people's differing views, you know, just were created instantly right there on, on in the city. Um, for for me, though, it came down to it, the, the reason why, I mean, you and I are talking and the, the community just keeps growing is because we have one one piece of common ground, which is nobody thinks it's a globe, mm -hmm. at, which is why we, we can do conferences and conventions and, and stuff like that, which is, oh, sure. Yeah, like 30, at least 30 percent of the people that are in our community, like don't even think there's a dome at all. Mm. Right. All right. Fine. Um, or there's people that that think that uh, there is nothing even close to gravity, that mm -hmm. it's all just density. And some people just believe in density. Some people believe in density and electrostatics and, and so on and so on. Um, at the end of the day, we agree that uh, that it's not a globe. And that's all it takes. That's all, you know, if you have one giant piece of common ground, most people will come together. No difference, and I know this is more history for you, which is, I think I mentioned it in the movie, the uh, the Scottish Highlands. You know, mm -hmm. the, the the clans of the Scottish Highlands packed each other up all the time, right? They fought constantly. Yeah. However, when the English showed up, that all went away. And they're yeah. like, oh, yeah, forget about that. Let's go after the English. They all hated the English. That yeah. one didn't, by the way, go over very well when I was in, in England. It, they, <laughs> they seemed to take some offense to that. So when... When it comes to us, which is why we look for uh, bigger trolls, we love it when bigger trolls come at us because that we're basically our community gets bored sometimes mm -hmm. because, yeah, we have all this information, but we don't have a lot of people attacking us uh, that we care about. You know, I'd love I'd love Joe Rogan to to come after us more. He used to back in the day. I'd love to have him come over. I'd love Neil Tyson to address us directly, even yeah. Bill Nye, even though I or, or Elon. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd love it. Elon one tweet by Elon, you know, condemning the flat earth thing or, or calling us out directly and we would get all this traction. Uh, mm -hmm. But in in the meantime, because we don't have that. Yeah, well, but it's better to have. This is military history for you. It's better to have an army that is sparring with each other than mm -hmm. to have them bored and just laying around doing nothing. Yeah, so that so I, I don't bother. I mean. I try to be a peacemaker from time to time, but I don't try very hard. <laughs> yeah. Why? What's that going to do for us? You know, at the end, everybody knows the rules. Everybody knows, you know, it's like, okay. Because again, you people, sorry, one more thing for you, which is when like the, the moon temperature argument, like w people came at me and said, oh yeah, by the way, the, the moon's generating a cold light. And I just laughed at him. I was in flat earth for over a year at that point. I just laughed at him. It's like, hey, no, you're nuts. Remember, I'm saying this as a flat earther. I'm saying that. Yeah. And it turned out to be right. So who am I to say? So so the, the rules are basically we accept all ideas. And if it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, we'll call you out on it. And and that's been kind of how we we play things. We 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 play nice in group settings, but individually when we're doing content, oh no, it's a free for all. Okay. So as as long as we don't badmouth each other too badly, you know, it's like oh, David Weiss is a piece of crap, and Jaron, oh, who, you know, we, they'll sometimes we'll we'll pick on each other, but most of the time it's not that bad. So, okay. All right. And then just for like my last question, yeah. uh, do you ever feel a sense of like responsibility for how your views influence others? Because I know you've grown a lot online. Yeah. So like, how do you feel like, do you feel very responsible for other people picking up your views? Like, how do you feel about that? Do, do I feel again, the movie you probably haven't seen, do I feel like Ferris Bueller that I'm, I'm giving good kids bad ideas? Uh, and no, no, because I, I know how social media works. You know, look, if you're older, you've seen it. You know, I've, I've been there since computers, you know, the internet was, was young. Um, the, the responsibility, I try to temper it. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that a warning? No, I just got an email. Oh, okay. You're all good. Okay. The, um, I try to temper it with the, the responsibility part, meaning I don't go out of the way to be, an anarchist mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's not like you know i tell people it's like you know what you should do you should go into target and just start burning all the globes yeah right? go go to the 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 section where the globes are and, and burn them all 
No, no, I don't do anything like that. Um, the, the responsibility that I feel is that I'm trying to give people a chance to break out of cookie cutter thinking. Mm -hmm. meaning right now there's there's a saying in fact it's from the truman show which is uh with jim carrey which is people believe the world that is presented to them and mm -hmm. people believe in authority look up things like the ash experiment or the milgram experiment you know scary experiments mm -hmm. that uh that show that people are i, I don't want to necessarily call them straight up sheep but why you, you, we don't like to think that our parents would ever lie to us and we definitely don't like to think that people in power would yeah. like would would lie to us but don't forget that nine out of ten problems in the world revolve around money and people will do a lot of nutty things for money uh yeah. or the the movie saying um we're only as good as the system allows us to be i come i came from the uh the time and attendance software industry mm -hmm. which was it's time clock software and we installed time electronic time clocks back when they were new in factories. Why? Because employees were cheating on their time cards as mm. much as humanly possible. Didn't matter where you were, what part of the country, what age group, what demographic, you were people try to get away with what if they don't think they're getting paid enough, oh no, they are going to make it to where they get some 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 validation, some vindication. And where is that going with this? So Oh, so sorry. So the cookie cutter thinking. Yeah. So I, all I'm doing is trying to, to break people out of it, if possible, which is like, look at your world. Don't just assume that anything you are told by someone in a lab coat, especially, mm -hmm. is telling the truth. Scientists lie for money. That I did. In fact, I'll send you when I'm done. I'll send you a little video I just made uh, last week called Scientism. It's only 60 seconds long. Uh -huh. And it'll give you kind of it's like, you don't think scientists will lie to you. It's like, what? They need Porsches, too. Right. Yeah. They, they they want the money as much as anybody. And uh, I mean, going even as recent as, as cigarettes, mm -hmm. which you, you aren't even old enough to remember. It's like, look, scientists lied yeah. through their teeth, took the money. Sci cigarettes are absolutely fine. Secondhand smoke. That's a myth. Mm -hmm. and, and they fought for years until and the only reason they even lost in the end, why why you don't see television commercials for cigarettes and and radio commercials for cigarettes is because the healthcare system was getting hammered. Again, remember the hospitals were like losing all this money because people are getting lung cancer. Yeah. And so and so healthcare, big healthcare had to go in and fight big tobacco. It wasn't the people, it was corporations that were fighting each other. So don't don't again, don't tell me that science is this bastion of integrity. It, mm -hmm. It's no, there is no such thing. Everybody has a price. And it once you learn that, you'll have a deeper understanding of the world and all what I really sorry, my end goal here, I know I'm dragging this out. You're good. My my end goal is for to for for people to watch the news, if you even watch the news, or look at the headlines or whatever it is, and just mm -hmm. stare at it and, and just assume that that headline isn't just there out of happenstance. Not just, oh hey, that just happened. We're going to report on it. Mm -hmm. There is there's always something behind the scenes. There, the 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 news the news there is no such thing as independent journalism, meaning those the journalists are owned by a corporation which is owned by a bigger corporation which is owned by a shell company. It's, it just goes on and on and on, and everybody's got their own agenda. And most of the time is to keep the keep the general population intelligent enough to keep the machine running. I'm not trying to be depressing when I say this, right? You know, so yeah. you can drive cars and you can go to work and you can do what you're supposed to do, but not smart enough to where you're asking the tough questions. Mm. And uh, uh, which is, let me end with this. Um, I, I I understand the greater good. I get that, right? And the, the, the saying I came up with is conformity builds empires, mm -hmm. but creativity builds worlds. Mm -hmm. So be one of those people. If you, okay. if you can, which is like break out, let, let the other people be sheep, let them, mm -hmm. let them. And you'll, you'll see it. Once you get on that other side and you start looking, it's like, wow, you guys don't believe in anything. Once you yeah. can get on that other side, the, the world is yours. You can, you can do whatever you want and you'll sleep better. You know, you're like, oh yeah, I, I get it now. Mm -hmm. so, sorry. There you go. I know, I know I'm kind of rambling, but uh, you're good. You're good. When, when, when I'm talking to the younger kids. You know, I, I want to, it's like, look, you have a chance because you are officially Gen Z. Yeah, you're Gen Z. 
Yeah. Uh, at the, you're the young, youngest side of Gen Z and Gen Alpha is coming up behind you. I know. I know yeah. What's going to happen? Uh, anyway, a- anything. Uh, may I ask you a question before uh, before we wrap this up? When um, when you guys were watching the the documentary, the would the did was there a discussion afterwards where the classroom was kind of the consensus was well pretty much insane people out there. I mean, it was going back and forth. Like we were talking about like a bunch of the experiments that y'all did because we yeah. um, had like a worksheet that we had to fill out. Yeah. And throughout that, like it was like there was an interview, an experiment, um, like we had to find qualitative research and quantitative, like all that stuff. Yeah. And we basically just discussed that stuff. Um, but I mean, there were some people who were like, this is insane. And then yeah. like the people that were in my group, we were just like, well, we want to know more. Cause like, and, it's and your group, your group, I bet was in the minority. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Which is, which is good. That's one that again, that that's how, what I would expect, which yeah. is again, you sociology, I'm sure again, the Ash experiment, the Milgram experiment, uh, combine those two scary, scary stuff, which is again, the peer group, the Ash experiment. I love more than anything because you've seen it where, you know, you get a bunch of people and you point at something that's absolutely wrong on the board. Right. And and everybody is in on the joke. Right. It's like, oh, yeah, that line is longer. And the other person won't pipe up. He will not say it. And I mean, it's how the military works. It's how corporations work. And it's like eventually you'll you learn when you get out of high school. It's like peer pressure. Throw it away. Yeah. Just, just get out of it if you can, because peer pressure will lead you into places you don't want to go. Mm. Uh, I mean, it's as simple as like going to a bar when you shouldn't be going to, to making, you know, decisions about your, your social life, to making your, about your corporate life. So yeah. Anyway, sorry. I'm no, you're good. All right. Is there any, by, let me ask about the poster behind you. Oh yeah. That is the movie. Yeah. I've never seen anyone with that movie poster. Oh, I love it. It's my favorite. Oh, well, that's nice. I've been watching it since I was four, so fourteen. Really? Years. That's that's like your go-to. Mm-hmm. Nice. It's, it's been fourteen years. It's because oh, I'm eighteen that... now, so fourteen years I've been watching it. That's awesome. Yeah. Good for get again. Great movie. Stick with it. Never give it up. And again, and again, it. you if you keep that put if you if you go to college, yeah. keep that poster on your freaking wall. And people I will. will be like, what? You know, eventually, because it'll get worse and worse, and be like, screw you. That's one of the greatest films ever made. Mm-hmm. And, that's true and here and here's why you know yeah. it teaches this it teaches this you can just rot yeah it's a great movie what do you do watch fast and furious all day <laughs> yeah not, not, i'm not a car guy so me, that, me movie, that, that series did nothing for me it bothered it's like and people just went in you know, droves it's like how many can you make of that freaking movie i know i only watched like one or two of them. That was it. Yeah. Like, eh, I've seen it. Look, car flying through the air. Yeah. Fantastic. You know, Vin Diesel it's saying family. Repetitive. Yeah. It's just repetitive at this point. There you go. Yeah. All right. Is there anything else I can do for you? Do you need any other resources? Uh, do you need to talk to anybody else? I mean, I'm all good. I got what I needed. Um, but if you do have like a video that you want to send me or anything, that would work too. I'll send you some shorts. And throw them at your teacher if you get a chance. I've got, I've got, I've got some serious because I, I was encouraged this year to make, God help me, TikTok videos because you know I know. On TikTok. Yes. Oh yes, I love that. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll send you the YouTube version of it, a short. You know, the, the YouTube shorts that people are putting. I don't even run my TikTok account. I don't even know who does it. But they okay. told me it's like you got to make TikToks for the kids. And it's like, yeah. oh, for God's sakes, are you serious? And yeah. so. I've been making those. I've been making one a week uh, uh, and jamming them. I'm not doing a lip sync or a dance thing or anything like that. I'm just jamming it. You'll see. I'll send you I'll send you like my first uh, first five that I okay. did. And yeah. five minutes will change your life. But, but throw them at your teacher and see. All right. I will. I'll let him know. All right. Well, thank you. This thank was you so much. This was I lovely. Re- if you need anything else or you need references or when do you have to turn this in? Uh, it's due next week. Okay. If you need anything else before then, um, reach out. I'll get you whatever you need. Okay. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. Happy to do it. Have a good rest of your afternoon. You too. All right. Bye-bye.